Golly, my wife's gonna kill me when she sees how many cars I bought. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, hey guys. Hey, welcome. Welcome to my addiction. I mean, my hobby. This is Going Diecast. My name's Eric. Um, it's been a while since I put out a video, so I just wanted to touch base with everybody. Let everybody know I'm still alive, still here, still kicking. Um, you know, life, life catches up to you sometimes and I had to step away from the video, whole video thing and all that. Nothing, nothing bad or anything. Just, just had some priorities take, take over. Had to couldn't put out any videos. I haven't really been doing that much hunting either. Um, you know, with the gas prices, you know, $4 and 50 cents, $4 and 80 cents a gallon. It kind of, you know, puts a dent and a hamper on the whole hunting things. Um. Uh, my local Walmart, I mean, the closest place I have to me is 40 miles away. Um, I live in a really small town. We have a Dollar General store. That's basically it. Um, and my local Dollar General store, they don't get Hot Wheels, but maybe <laughs> one or two cases every few months. Now, fortunately, where I work, um, there are two Walmart. There's a Target. Um, we also have a Meyer department store for those of you not familiar with Meyer. Um, it's just a department store, kind of like Walmart and Target, kind of like in the middle. Um, really nice store. I like it. But um, so I don't do a lot of hunting. Um, I'll stop sometimes on my way to work if I have time. Um, sometimes on when I get off work, um, where I work at is right off of the interstate, and I just jump on the interstate and come straight home. Um, when if I have to go to Walmart or Target or wherever, I have to drive into town and fight all the traffic and the lights and the people. And you know, after putting in eight, nine, ten hours at work, that's the last thing I want to do. I just want to get home and relax. You know, give me a cold beverage and and just chill for a while. So, um, you know, I may I may think about it when I'm going to work. Hey, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna go hit a couple targets when I get off work. But then by the time I get off work, it's just you know. I'm like ah screw it i'll just go home you know whatever but um but i have been stopping i have been i i'll stop when i'm out if i'm driving by a place or something or you know on a weekend you know when i'm out with my wife my family or whatever you know we'll swing into a place and so i have picked up a few things um to be honest with you very few main lines i'm finding as far as hot wheels even matchbox um i'm just I'm just kind of missing them, you know, because I'm not going every day or every other day. So, um, I have picked up a few, nothing, nothing to write home about. Um, I just want to show you guys a few things that I've picked up. I'm going to try to keep this video short. I'm um, try to keep it under 15 minutes. Um, I know you guys that don't have a lot of time to watch videos and you're probably watching everybody else's videos too, as I am, I'm still watching you guys' videos. So, um, just because maybe you don't see me on here, I'm still out there. I'm still out there in the diecast land, diecast nation. So, um, yeah, I just want to show you guys a few things I've picked up. Um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not finding a lot of main lines. Um, I did find two of the E-Case regular treasure hunts. That's it. I've not found any supers anywhere, guys. I'm just, I'm not out there enough to really find them, to be honest with you. Um, so I found two of those. Um, Believe it or not, guys, <laughs> I've only found one of these. And I just got lucky on that. There was just one there. Um, I, I would love to find two or three more of these. Um, I, def I definitely want to do a custom, at least one custom one of these. And uh, I'd like to just just have one open, you know. Um, then I found, um, <clears throat> found a couple of these as well. Um, I know these aren't no big thing, but... They're pretty cool. I like them. I'd actually like to do a custom on one of them too. But um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, a few other castings, a few other your regular castings that you guys are finding that I'm seeing on your channel. So nothing, nothing to write home about, and I'm not going to waste waste y'all's time on that. Um, <clears throat> did pick up a couple of these the other day. A um, couple of the the M2s. Um, I picked this up. Picked this up about a month or so ago. It's the old Holly. Um, what is that? 50 Studebaker truck. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got a glare on it. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, not too bad. I like the Holly stuff. I like the Holly livery. Um, 
I live where I live. Well, the big town, actually where I work, is Bowling Green, Bowling Green, Kentucky. And that is where the Holly Carburetor uh, headquarters is located. So, so I'm partial to the Holly uh, name and the brand. Um, matter of fact, if you go back, I just did a quick, um, I just did a short um, right in front of the Holly Carburetor uh, headquarters building. Um, also, Moon Eyes, I do a 49 Mercury. Really cool. Love that thing. Love the flame job. Moon eye caps, wide white walls, pretty cool. So pick those up, no big deal. Nothing, nothing special guys, like I said, I just kind of wanted to show you guys. Um, I found one of these the other day, the Zingers. This is the first Zinger I've ever found, believe it or not guys. Um, so I picked that up. Card had a little damage on the top of it, but I thought I'm not, you know, I just got it to add to my collection. Plus it's the first one, I couldn't just leave it sit there. But love that thing, pretty cool. Uh, keeping with the Johnny Lightning thing, found two of the Blues Brothers. Of course, I found the found the Cruiser, the Blues Brothers Cruiser, and then I found the Chicago PD cop car. Pretty cool. Um, I'm a big Blues Brothers fan, as you can tell. Um, yeah, I love the Blues Brothers, so we got those there. Um, also, moving right along. Um, Again, I know I'm rushing through this, guys. I just want this to be a short video. Um, I don't normally buy these. Um, I pretty much stick to the Hot Wheels monster trucks. And those are more, those are more of your fantasy vehicles, I guess you could say. Um, you know, they just take a Hot Wheels casting and, and make it four-wheel drive. But the Monster Jam trucks, they're actual trucks. They're the trucks from the Monster Jam, uh, you know, monster truck series, um, the competition. Um, I've loved monster trucks ever since I was a kid, you know, when Bigfoot first came out and then you had Grave Digger and then, then, you know, just one after another. So, uh, but I don't collect these, but I think I'm going to start to, you know, um, I've picked up one or two here and there, but I picked this up the other day, guys. This is my first chase, monster jam chase. Um, and as far as I know, um, I think what makes them the chase is, uh, of course they have a metal body, but then they also have a metal um chassis on them as you can see the blue is plastic all the suspension but the silver where the the headers come out all that's all that's cast metal um but yeah i thought that was pretty cool plus it's a it's son of a digger so i've got the grave digger now i got the son of a digger so i may start collecting these guys i like the monster trucks uh go back and look on my channel i uh, uh, took took the family to a monster truck event here a few months back it's pretty cool um you know, I think a lot of you guys, if you're around my age, I mean, we grew up on monster trucks and that was the big thing. You know, of course, Bigfoot just ruled them all. And so everybody cheered for Bigfoot. But anyway, that was my, that's my first chase I found for the Monster Jam. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, moving right along, picked this up the other day, finally found one of these. Guys, I'm like, I'm like two or three months behind all you. I mean, I see you guys posting this stuff on your videos and I'm like, man, I haven't even seen that in the stores. But, uh, so it dwindles to my area, I guess. I guess we finally get caught up. Um, as I said, you know, I'm, I live here in Kentucky, um, you know, and, uh, there's, there's a saying, um, Kentucky's kind of split right down the middle, two time zones. Um, but there's a saying that goes around. It says, uh, welcome to Kentucky. You don't forget to set your clocks back a hundred years. So, um, you know, but anyway, guys, um, uh, yeah. So I finally picked this up. Um, if you don't already know, I mean, I'm a huge Mopar guy. I grew up on Mopars. All my debt drove was Mopars. I got three older brothers. They all drove Mopars. I mean, it's just, you know, it's inherently in my genes and my DNA. So, uh, love all Mopars though. I mean, chargers, challengers, kudas, um, darts, dusters, scamps, swingers, demons. I mean, I'm just, just a Mopar guy. I drove, drive Mopars, got a Dodge Durango, um, got a Chrysler, uh, minivan, but anyway, uh, moving right along. Let's see, what else do I got here? Oh, uh, a couple things. Um, I work where I work at. Um, it's no big secret. I work for the postal service. I've been with the postal service for 23 years. Matter of fact, proud to say. Um, so I'm actually one of the old veterans there, but, um, so I got, I got on the, their store website, USPS.com, the 
the store, not, not the website where you go and complain about your packages or you're missing mail or whatever, but they actually have a store where you can buy stamps and uh, memorabilia and stuff like that. And believe it or not, guys, they actually sell die-cast cars. Um, so go check it out, USPS.com. And I'm in no way, you know, I'm not trying to trying to support the store by any means. I, you know, I'm not a sponsor. I'm not doing anything like that. But if you're looking for some cool stuff that you may not see in the stores, um, first thing I did, I picked up a set of the Hot Wheels stamps. Um, and I didn't know these were out. These were out um, uh, a little while ago. I can't remember. Maybe a year or two ago or something like that. I never did get any at the time, but so these were on there. And I mean, they're 58 cents a piece. So I mean, it's not like you're paying anything extra for them, but they're pretty cool. Um, they get purple passion. They get the bone shaker, uh, Roger Dodger, um, several other cool ones, twin meal, Dior too, some fantasy casting. So, so yeah, pretty cool. I just picked up some of them. Um, also as a, as a postal service, uh, veteran I collect a lot of a lot of uh, mail trucks and Jeeps and whatever you know postal service type vehicle and memorabilia so I picked this up this is from USPS.com store you know rollback wrecker it's got United States Postal Service on the door I don't know why it has a mail carrier with it because we don't deliver mail out of these things guys but anyway um, I just thought that was cool it's green light um, of course, United States Postal Service. It's got some history on the back of it. But yeah, just thought that was pretty cool. It's an international Durastar flatbed. Um, I don't think the bed, I haven't opened it yet, but I don't I don't know if the bed tilts on it or not. Not that that really matters, but um, it actually kind of looks like the little tow bar may, may slide out or something, I don't know. But anyway, pretty cool, thought that was cool. And they ship them all in well, it, I ordered them all at one time and they shipped it in a big box, but they're all individually boxed. So I thought that was kind of cool. What else we got here? Let's see, we'll save that one there for a minute. So, of course, like I said, I, I try to collect all my postal service stuff. The old postal Jeep. We still got a few of these around at the post office, believe it or not. Um, a lot of our rural carriers, um, back when the post office uh, went over to the LLV type vehicle, which I don't have one handy here with me, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, they actually auctioned a lot of these off and rural carriers actually bought them because they're right hand drive. And, and you know, my understanding, I, I, I never used one of these, but they were really good, you know, in snow and, and whatnot, different weather. They, they were fairly reliable, easy to work on. Uh, parts were readily available. So, so I picked up one of them. I didn't have a Jeep like that. Uh, and of course that was the white one. Went ahead and got the blue one. I apologize for the glare guys. I got a little light here. Let me see if I, let me turn my light on see what we can get. Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, blue Jeep. Again, just got history on the back of it. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm just flying through this guy. Some of you guys may not, may not care about this stuff. That's cool. Whatever. Um, let's see where we at here. 13 minutes. Well, try to hurry up. Oh, had to have this one guys i i've not seen this in person but i've seen pictures of it um this is the llv i was talking about just a minute ago but this one here has a wrap on it that makes it look like a, a harley the old style harley and there's an actual llv uh that they deliver with um i believe it's in daytona beach and they use it for bike week that's kind of what the theme of this is um but yeah i just thought that was cool um I'd love to see that thing in person, but I've been wanting this one for a while and I've seen it around, but I've just not pulled the trigger on it because it was a little pricey, but guys, believe it or not, uh, these vehicles I've, I'm showing from the USPS, $5.99, $5.99, that's how much it costs, um, except for the wrecker. I think the wrecker was like $12.99, something like that. Uh, moving right along. All right, now we're gonna get into some fun stuff. Yep. United States Postal Service. Pretty cool. Got a stamp on it. The all Hemi Cuda. Lime green. Really cool. Very detailed. I mean, detailed in the front. Detailed in the rear. Of course, it's green light. You know, green light does a pretty good job. Wheels. 
Even got the Cuda wheels on them. The rally wheels, really nice. Shaker hood. Um, the only thing is I wish it was black. I don't know why I just always pictured the shaker hood, hood scoop black. But, uh, but anyway, it's cool. I like it. Um, <clears throat> so that's one old Dodge Challenger, of course. Mopar guy, had to have that, right? Keeping with a the theme here. Boom. Dodge Charger Daytona. And yes, the hood do, hoods do open on these guys. It's just got like a little plastic insert to hold it down. I haven't decided if I'm going to open these yet or not. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, again, super detailed. They're metal. Metal on metal. All die cast. Really nice. Um, like I said, they got a picture on it. Looks like a stamp. USA Forever stamp. Um, green light. And they are exclusive. I don't know what that means. I guess it's exclusive to the USPS store. I mean, that's all I can think of. And last, lastly here, not to leave out you four guys, Shelby GT500, boom. Racing stripes. Detailed front and rear. USPS exclusive. Yeah. Um, go check it out, guys. I mean, if you're interested, this is this is what they have. I bought all of them. I bought every one, uh, not as far as quantity, but I mean, I just bought every casting that they had. So um, if you like if you like any of these, man, go to their store. I, as far as I know, they're still in stock. Um, I actually got on there the other day, uh, three or four days ago, just to see if they put up anything different, and they still had all the same ones. So, so go check them out, guys. Again, I'm not sponsoring them. You know, I'm not. I don't get a kickback or any money from it. I just, I just thought it was cool. You know, I'd never thought I've worked for the postal service for 23 years and never once thought that they sold back ass cars. I mean, so anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this video short. It's, I'm already at 17 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it up a little bit and go back and make another video. I'm gonna make a second video to this part two, if you will. Um, just because, um, I got some pretty cool stuff I want to show right now and I don't want it to be at the end of this video because I figure, uh, a lot of guys get lost and I get, I bore them so they don't stick around to the end. So I really want you guys to see what I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video off anyway, guys. Um, Hey, glad to be back. Um, Hey, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you. Thanks for the support. Um, I've got several shout outs from other channels. Um, really means a lot to me. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just a nobody, just look, just an old guy here, likes to collect cars. Um, I've been collecting die casts all my life, to be honest with you. Um, I've had, I've had spurts where I've been more intense with the collecting and kind of backed off a little bit, been more so, but, um, if you guys saw what's out in my shed and, and what's in some of these boxes behind me, it'd blow your mind. I've got complete sets of 1998 first editions, 1999 first editions, 2000 first editions. I bought them all, guys. Bought them all off the pegs. Um, used to do all my sourcing from uh, Toys R Us and Kmart, believe it or not. Guess what? They're not around anymore. So, um, KB Toys at the at the mall. We had KB Toys. If you're familiar with KB Toys, used to get a lot of stuff from there too. They'd have they'd have like good sales on them. Like they'd be like four dollars a piece or three for five dollars or something like that something crazy so anyway guys um good to be back thanks for watching this video if you stayed to the end um if you did stay to the end stay tuned because i'm gonna get ready and make my next video right now and i'm gonna show the good stuff so um hey stay well um stay out of trouble be good and remember my saying peace love and hot wheels see y'all later out here.